Hey, what's going on, YouTube? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can be able to see more of our content, okay? And hit that notification bell so you can be notified of future videos that we do. Also, we ask that you please smash up the likes. Smash up the likes, all right, you guys? <clears throat> so we got a story right here. This is, is a very sad story. And as you can see through the title, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this clip roll. New details about what led up to the moment a woman allegedly pushed her three-year-old nephew into Lake Michigan. You can see Victoria Moreno standing by the flowers next to rescuers on Navy Pier. Yeah, we want to warn you this story will be difficult to hear. Our Tara Molina alive at Lurie Children's Hospital where the little boy is still in critical condition. And Tara, his injuries are extensive and they're very serious. Show and Erica extensive and serious doesn't even cover it. They were described as life threatening in court today to the judge. A hearing that was really hard to listen to. That little three year old boy is still hospitalized here at Lurie Children's. He has a swollen brain bleeding in his lungs and we're told he's gone into cardiac arrest a number of times. Victoria Moreno snuck her three-year-old nephew out of the family home, drove him to Chicago, and ultimately pushed him into Lake Michigan, making no attempt to call for help to save him. That's what prosecutors detailed in her bond hearing Wednesday. Moreno is charged with attempted first-degree murder and aggravated battery to a child. The judge calling her a danger to children in her family and children in general. The prosecutor said Moreno stole keys to a car she's not supposed to drive because of medication she's on for mental health issues, then headed to Chicago, eventually making her way to Navy Pier. While there with the three-year-old, she let him crawl under the barrier, blocking the sidewalk from the water a number of times. While looking around, waiting for people to leave, she crouched down, straddled him, and pushed him into Lake Michigan then sat down and stared into the water where the little boy was struggling, saying and doing nothing. All of this caught on surveillance cameras. See this photo from Ashton King. She was on the pier and saw the three-year-old in the water, immediately jumping into action while she said she watched Moreno do the exact opposite. This is her standing by police and the dive team who rescued the little boy. In court, we learned she told first responders she didn't know the boy or what happened. The red flags were there. Um, she was acting very weird. I did end up telling the officer, I said, listen, I said, she was the only one here when we got here. She's just been acting off weird. Like, I don't know if she, I just don't know if she's all, something is not right. We also learned this wasn't the first time. Just a week prior to this incident, she took all of the children out of the family home and took them. So bro, uh, here we have this obviously sick individual sick but you know the the way the, the way that they would use it is like what mentally ill like she it was on some medication and stuff like that i guess for you uh, know man, some type of right issues right, right, or, right but she she was she had enough sense to to sneak in and, and, and sneak that child up out of the house and and, and premeditated took, mm. took took the child to name pier just, you know, and wait it to where nobody looking so she can push that child in the right. in the lake. Right. She, she wasn't that that I mean, she wasn't that crazy. No. You know, she she knew no. what she was doing and how to do it. You know, so I look at it. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess I guess the the kicker about this story is that it wasn't the first time that mm -hmm. she snuck uh, the children out of the house. No, you know, the second it's time, the man. second time. And so my thing is for the parents. Right. You know what I'm saying? We talking about a situation where you know something wrong with this woman. Right. She is living with y'all. And she takes a car away from y'all that she wasn't right. supposed to be driving in the first place mm -hmm. and take your kids to Chicago. Right. To to the water. Okay, so obviously this is something that she had planned mm -hmm. prior to this time. Right, actually it's, doing it's it. premeditated. Yes, it's premeditated. yes. You know, and I, I just, I just want to say, you know, uh, I just want to, you know, just uh, say, you know, uh, 
rest in power to the little boy. You yes. know what I mean? Uh, it, it's so sad. You know, I just, I, you, you never think children will go before us. You know what I mean? You, nah. we, you just never expect that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, the little boy was fighting for his life, though. You yes. know, he, he held up for a while. And, yeah. you know, but I know he went back to God and God got him. You know what I mean? So I, it's just mm. sad that this 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 uh, insanely evil person did what she did. But I, I think I understand what you're saying, Mo, that there were signs. If she yeah. had did this before, that should have been nipped in the bud right then and there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, you wouldn't be here. If you staying with me, you're not going to be staying with me no more after mm, that. Mm, mm, no way. I don't nah. want, your, want your ass around me. Nah. You know, because now I can't trust you. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You don't never take my kids nowhere right. without my consent. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, yeah, by them not really acting on that, probably gave her that, that you know, that second chance to, to be more effective and do it again and be more effective with it, you know, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, you guys, go ahead and leave the comments, leave, leave the comments about yeah. this story. That what do you, what do you think about? What would you do in that situation? Right. Would you kick your family member out, or would you continue to let them stay with you, or would you try to hide the keys from them, or you know, would you? Tell them to to not take your kids nowhere again, or what 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 kind of things would you do if you were in this situation? Please leave your comments. So you know we're gonna go ahead and leave you guys with this next clip, and basically it's just an update to the story. Okay, so you know like I said, rest in peace to the young boy. Yeah. You know maybe he's in better hands with with God. Yeah. Now. So all right, you guys, peace. Peace. We're now to a heartbreaking update. The toddler, police say, was pushed into Lake Michigan, has died. Joni is live with the latest. Joni. Good morning. Three-year-old Josiah Brown was at the hospital for about a week. Yesterday, he died of his injuries. Additional charges are expected against the aunt who took him to Navy Pier. And it turns out that Josiah was part of a story that Fox 32 News did about his father. The three-year-old can be seen frolicking with his dad, Dantrell Brown, last year. Sally Schulze did a report on the dad's battle to survive heart failure, diagnosed at age 22. On social media, Brown posted his heart is barely working, and he truly feels pain over what happened to his son. He's asking for prayers or donations to a GoFundMe account. The boy's aunt, 34-year-old Victoria Moreno, is accused of taking the little, the little boy from their home in Des Plaines to Navy Pier, where she allegedly pushed him off the pier into the lake and then did nothing to help. Rescuers got him out, but Josiah suffered cardiac arrest and multiple seizures. Moreno is at the Cook County Jail. Her attorney says that she has mental health issues, but charges are expected to be increased against her now that the little boy has died. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Now back to you. Joni.